The war for talent can be brutal in Silicon Valley with competition for top-notch executives and engineers at an all-time high. Our next guest has worked at executive search firms and is now a partner at the venture capital firm Kleiner Perkins, where she focuses on recruiting and quote-unquote human capital. Juliette de Beaumont from Kleiner Perkins, welcome to Bloomberg West. Thank you for having me. Um, I, this is such a fascinating topic, especially now with the war for talent in Silicon Valley. Tell me the thought process that you go through when you're matching a person with a company. You always want to look at the right situation and really examine the fundamentals of each company to really think about what is the fit you're trying to make. Fundamentally, what is the skill set you're looking to bring? What are the objectives of the business? And what's the culture? I'll give you a really interesting example. We recruited Doug Mack to One Kings Lane. We had two amazing founders, Alison Pincus and um, Susan Feldman, that we really wanted to keep in the company. Um, they are incredible entrepreneurs. And Doug Mack came from Adobe, but in his previous life he'd started an internet shopping company he wanted to come back and run a company having that uh, founder led culture and an amazing new CEO allowed that company to grow and it was exactly the right fit of skill sets with the right founders and the right culture you also placed Dan Rosenzweig at Chegg yes. uh, he actually sent us a quote about you saying Juliet's gift is her ability to understand an executive their skills their passions and connect them with the right situation so that their likelihood of success is much higher. I, I imagine that's a very kind of acute talent that you have. I hope so. Um, you know, it's um, our business is all about people. Um, people are our, our currency. Um, Kleiner Perkins has always recognized that. Um, that's why 10 years ago they decided they wanted to bring on board a, one partner. Now we have three of us in total that constantly think about recruiting and human capital, particularly in today's environment where innovation is really at an exciting point. Our ability to attract the right engineers, the right CEOs, the right management is the key competitive edge for our portfolio company. What about a case like Twitter, which is one yeah. of your portfolio companies? There's, there's been some issues with the management there. Uh, Co-founders Jack Dorsey and Evan Williams were CEOs previously. Uh, now um, Dick Costolo is in the role of CEO, a, a non-founder. Can you, can you walk us through how that happened? Well, I can't give you specific insight. Those are obviously very private for the company. What I can say is this, is that Twitter is in an amazing situation today where you have an incredible CEO in Dick who was well-developed um, at Google, which is an, an amazing academy company from which to have an experience. And the fact that you now have Jack um, providing the leadership that he is um, has really been an amazing um, opportunity for the company. Here's what I'm noticing, Emily, about companies today, is that the founders are recognizing that they need to build exceptional teams and the teams will evolve over time. Zynga is a great example of that. Mark Pincus very smartly co-opted an unfair amount of my partner Bing Gordon's time to be a player coach as well as a board member. Bing obviously was one of the founders of Electronic Arts. Um, Bing and Mark have recruited an amazing executive team. John Shepard is the CEO. Colleen McCreary has helped on recruiting. You've got an amazing all-star cast. And what smart founders in today's environments are realizing is that they need to surround themselves with a really great bench to be able to pull off what's expected of them in today's environment. How about the difficult situations where a CEO is not working out? I mean, we've just seen very publicly Carol Bartz get fired from Yahoo. You know, what needs to happen at Yahoo now and how do they find someone to take her place, you know, if indeed Yahoo continues in its current state? Well, let me not be prescriptive about Yahoo, but let me say that I think Yahoo is a really important brand, and it's really important for our industry that the company does well and it continues to thrive. I think it's a classic example of making sure that you have the right skill set fit with the right company fit. And I have high confidence that Yahoo going forward will live life to fight another day. Silicon Valley is all about the comeback kid. I mean, let's look at Apple as an example. Apple failed three times with CEO leadership before Steve returned. The company realized it needed technology innovation. Yahoo in 2002 brought Terry Semmel and Dan Rosenzweig into the company, and the company did extremely well. So I have high confidence that Yahoo will be able to find the right CEO for the task at hand. Companies like Google and a pre-IPO company like Facebook go to great lengths to retain their talent. Mm -hmm. What do you do to, to, to woo talent uh, from, from these kind of bigger, more established companies to portfolio companies? What kinds of incentives do you provide? 
You know, within today's environment, and as you know, in Silicon Valley, it's um, it's about the opportunity to do something really meaningful and make a difference. And so people want to know they're working on something really materially important. I think that speaks to the quality of the founding team. Companies like Early, you had Eric Fang on your show yesterday. Um, companies like Path, Dave Moran, who left Facebook, these are exceptional founders that can then attract amazing talent. So it starts with having the right founders that can really go and attract people out of larger companies and offer them an opportunity to do something that they wouldn't get in a larger company. That goes far and above the promise of a, an option payout or a cash bonus. Briefly, is it more important to have the best CEO or the best engineer? It's, it's important to have both. All right, Juliette de Bobany of Kleiner Perkins, thanks so much for joining us here Thank on you. Bloomberg West.